right, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another toy hunt. Things are a little different this week. My son having a hell of a time on Friday. Sick, just not feeling good. Um, had a nightmare. Maybe let's hope that's not like the night terrors. We're bad things about night terrors. So hope all night crying, just not a happy camper. So it's Sunday now. Friday, I didn't get to go out and do our typical toy hunt because uh, he was home. Had to take care of the little man, which is, sorry to say, more important than you. <laughs> Way more important. Don't don't get me wrong. I love you guys, and I appreciate all the support, but uh, family comes first when it comes to these sort of things. We do this with extra time. So I got a little bit of time here Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're just going to hit home base Target and uh, home base Walmart just so I have something for you guys uh, tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. Um, not looking forward to dealing with crowds not looking forward to deal with empty shelves but i think that's what might happen i could be wrong let's be optimistic and say yeah we're gonna find a couple things i actually retail wise i'm not looking for a ton um trying to save up a little bit for some stuff that i found in amazing action comics uh uh last week between that dewback and that snow speeder that's really what i'm kind of gunning for so we'll see we'll see if there's anything new and if there is take a look at it also at the end we'll probably go back to the toy lot for the uh conclusion because i've got a couple things that i got in the mail that i want to show you guys so we'll probably do that so there we go enough talk welcome back to the hunt welcome back to the channel things are a little different but hey we're still hunting right all right i'll see you guys inside target we'll get this baby rolling let's do it all right guys target home base let's see what we're dealing with today Start with the cards. Let's see what we got as far as cards go. So we've got a hander pack of mosaic. Heard these aren't great, so I'm not gonna be dabbling in that. Also grabbed a couple of packs of these the other day. Really, they're kind of like the old school ones. About three dollars a pack, eight packs, eight cards per pack. So not a bad deal if you're just into collecting. Not really worried about making money, kind of like I am. Tops Chrome. Got some old school looking hockey. Tons of hander packs. So yeah, decent selection, nothing too crazy. Let's shift over to NECA, see what we got. And it is crowded in here. I hate doing this, but like I said, no real option this week, unfortunately, since my son was sick. All right, so, you know, same old, same old. Really nothing new. Got this black item. There's a meal squad, check that out. That's cool looking. Got the Speedy Chicken McNugget. This is the first time I've seen these. So those look pretty good. Coach Beard. Looks kind of like Obi Wan. <laughs> so got some turtles over here for some reason. And then I don't think I've seen that four pack yet. So that's a good looking four pack as well. And then, man, I'm, I mean, I'm tempted to get this thing. This thing is so cool. Check that out. Dr. Finkelstein. Really cool looking. Just wish he wasn't 18 bucks. What a very cool looking figure at that. Also got street style. Uh, is that Raph? Yeah, Raph. Batman. And then this guy's been hanging out forever. I can't believe they haven't sold that one. That's an awesome figure. One of my favorite DC figures. Can't believe they haven't sold that yet. And really more of the same old, same old that we see every time we come here. All right, let's go see if we can find some holothon. All right, we were here on Wednesday. Was well, pretty empty. It's not much better now. Um, Frankenstein accessory pack, American Wolf London mummy accessory pack. Still got Alf. Herman Munster. Let's take a look at old Herman Munster real quick. I know this show got absolutely horrible reviews. There he is. I mean, for what he is, I don't think he's bad. I'm not gonna pay 40 bucks for me. The problem is he doesn't come with a lot of accessories. A couple extra hands, extra head, but not a lot. Guys, if you haven't got this figure, go get Alf. I just unboxed him the other day. Tremendous figure. Absolutely fantastic. I'm still considering these. The only reason I'm not getting these are basically statues. I think they may have three points of articulation, so just not sure about those yet. All right, let's zip on over to the actual toys, see what we got. So we got the Armada Starscream. Actually got him a couple of weeks ago. He is a very below average figure. Let's get a needle nose. If you guys are into Transformers, definitely recommend needle nose. Good figure. And then we've got some wheelies and laser beak. And also, got, let's see if they've got the new. Doesn't look like they have the new Jazz yet, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping they'd have the new Jazz, but not yet. 
and tons of python controls tons of recondos um dc wise we got that really old joker got that new flash wave the deluxe wave that's hitting highly recommend this pack too if you guys don't have that definitely recommend that there's mongol all right let's zip around to the other side all right we'll check out the rest of that as soon as there's less people got some storage shell i've actually got all these except for donatello can't find donatello anywhere got a couple of those a couple more elites um you know <laughs> it's it's home base target guys <laughs> this is all i got done to do this week unfortunately there's that new he-man been camping out for weeks and weeks got some galaxy squadrons uh tons of those those don't sell at all down there between the um gunships and the falcons those haven't sold in ages here's a figure i haven't seen out in the wild in a while soka clone trooper looks like they're still 12.99 here at target interesting i know they're 15 at walmart so i don't know if target's just behind or what and then we've got some black series nothing new fifth brother reva shore trooper princess leia boba fetts and then wrestling wise it's more of the same guys Ken Shamrock. There's a Taz. I think he's pretty new. That's a decent looking figure for Taz. And then we've got a newer Rollins. That's pretty good looking Rollins. Warrior Page. That's about it. All right, let's go see if we can see some legends real quick. All right, most legends are gone. They finally clearance these and. There's a couple hanging out. There's a red skull. He's 17 bucks. I scanned him for T3 the other day. Still hanging out. His package is all banged up. And then these are 12.49. And honestly, guys, that's about it. Damn. It's home base target for you. All right. Well, I don't foresee any pickups here. I will see you guys over at the Walmart. All right, guys. Real quick before we go to Walmart, I did want to show you these new Mario Brothers coming out. They got Mario, Luigi, Princess, Toad. About it. These do look pretty cool. Let's take a look at Mario real quick. I'm not gonna get these, but no, everybody's kind of looking for them. That's actually really good. Not bad looking at all. Those are running 20 a piece. Pretty decent. I, I mean, if you're into Mario, definitely would recommend those. All right, let's go to Walmart. All right, guys, home base Walmart. Let's see what we're dealing with here. All right, stand on the end cap. We've got. E.T., Superman, Mummy, Karloff, Ultimate E.T. Four pack, best action foot soldiers. Actually, not a bad pack there. Let's see what we got over here. Has anything changed? Nothing usually changes, unfortunately. I wish it would one day, but unfortunately does not. There's actually these stands. I showed you guys these before. Great stands. If you need some stands, five bucks, you're going to get eight. Don't be fooled by ten. It's eight because these down on the bottom don't actually have any pegs. I, I don't know, but um, Predator 2. This is actually a really cool Predator. Let me show you guys this one. I think you guys have probably all seen this one. Really, really cool. I love the mask on that. Super cool Predator, but NECA does Predator so well. Got Ash, got Beetlejuice, Nightwolf, times four. And then Popwise. Electra, got a Lamar. He don't have a team. Now he's franchise tag, so maybe he'll just play under the tag. And then Pops. Yeah, Pops. Well, look at this. Wow, this is amazing. I have never seen so many sodas. Is the soda really? Wait, 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 wait. A soda is... Guys, get in the comments. Are these... Okay, so I don't know anything about these. These are really $15. I, I, I was thinking these are like five bucks. I was going to buy one just for the hell of it, but not at $15. The Zombie Iron Man's cool, though. Check out the Zombie Iron Man. Tons of sodas. I've never seen so many, but not for 15 bucks. That I can't believe that's insane. That's crazy. All right, let's hit the toys. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, they got a Mikey. You know, I thought about this on the way here. I was like, I bet they're going to have a Jumbo Mikey or Leo, and I'm going to have to make a decision. And sure enough, Hey, there's something new. Check it out. Now, you guys know me and Transformers. Usually buy them all. I'm not buying this. 
I mean, that's messing up a classic. I understand the G1 colors and blah, 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 but no, this is not gonna happen. But, I mean, it's cool to find it. Also got Blit Blitzwing, tons of Jahaxis, Junk Heap, and then these Earth Spark things, which are basically kids' toys. Uh, Turtle Wise, like I mentioned, there's a Mikey. And then we've got our Retros, Leatherhead, Shredder, pretty much a little bad guy wave. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I got the Raycor. I know a few people are looking for that, so that is here. I'm gonna try not to trip over the hula hoop in the middle of the floor. And then we've got Agent Jimmy Woo. And Everett Ross, oh, that's an Ikea. That's about it for Marvel Legends. Not great Marvel Legend wise around here. Uh, they've got some Avatar. No people have been finding that a gold label Joker for DC. I think that's a Vampire's Joker. I don't see it here. Definitely be interested in that one. Don't see it. Got Hush, Black Adam. Um, Star Wars wise, I mean, it's really just the same, guys. It's nothing really new Star Wars wise. Uh, this place doesn't get much new Star Wars very often. And then Master wise, not a ton new either. We've got Leech, Snout Spout, JF. Got some Lady J's. I'm waiting for the new one on this with the uh, Crimson Guard. Probably gonna be for that. Ivar. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I saw an end cap, or not an end cap, but I saw a standalone of the new WWE, so let's go check that out. All right, guys, ran into this guy, and then also ran into Stunning Steve Austin, Rick Boogs. Uh, there's The Rock and Big E. Got an NWO Nash. What else we got in here? Got Rock. Rock. There's a taker. Let me pick them. Ah, they're all attacking me. That's a good taker. I like that taker. Let's go ahead and pick these up. Stunning Steve, you can't go down there. And Rick Boogs. You know, you got to say it that way. Million Dollar Man. Shawn Michaels, Mankind. It's a small little ring. See, actually, it's pretty well stocked. So let's put it in here. There's Jake the Snake. This has been here for a couple of weeks and it's still, these are all on punch too, which is amazing. Pop Shango, Million Dollar Man. So, I mean, it's good to see. Another Ray Mysterio, like we don't have any enough of those, right? And there's that taker again. And look at that, a Dusty. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't they have done Dusty Roads a little bit better instead of that horrible face sculpt? That is terrible. Nah, that's a shame, because that could be a really cool figure, but they gave him a horrible head sculpt. That's terrible. Too bad. All right, let's see. We're over here by Clarence. Let's see if there's anything good on Clarence. Uh, no. <laughs> it doesn't look like there is. It's just kind of a mess now, guys. Uh, I still got these, but I know none of you guys are really interested in those. That's a great figure. I love that figure. And then they still got um, this thing, which is $28 and not clearance. All right, well, we'll probably check out the cards before we leave, guys. All right, guys, before we go to the cards, I ran across this thing right here. This Dragon Zord is super cool. I like the detail in it. Ah, oh, it's a Super 7. Okay, so it looks like they're making vehicles for what would be the reactions, which they got a couple of. Oh, look at how much these are here. $20, holy, I'm just gonna say it, holy shit. <laughs> Dragon Zord's 85, but very, very cool looking. So if you guys are at all into that, um, yeah, super cool looking, like it a lot. So there you go. All right guys, back in the toy loft, all done with the hunt. Um, actually saw some good stuff, not bad. Um, just nothing I'm really looking for. That that Zord, uh, that um, Dragon Zord. Pretty good. Uh, just got off with LeBron Fett, yakking with Yukon. Had a great time. So thank you again, LeBron Fett, for being on Yakking with Yukon. Really had a good time. We had a nice group, around 15, 16 people. So really good, man. So thank you again. Let's go over a couple of pickups that I got really quick. 
Um, some of it's card related, some of it's action figure related. We're going to go ahead and start with one I got right here. I actually got this at Cosmic. Didn't film there because you guys just saw that a couple of weeks ago. But this is one I had my eye on. 60 bucks, which isn't a bad deal. That's this first order three pack from the Black Series. As you can see there, mostly got it. I mean, the Kylo's good, but mostly got it for the Mountain Trooper and the Commander Pyre. The Commander Pyre is phenomenal. So yeah, 60 bucks, not a bad grab. Um, didn't really see anything else at Cosmic that I needed, so that's all we got. But I like the uh, the box on this too. Of course, it's going to be coming out of the box, but a cool pickup. I really do like this one. Been waiting for this one. Let me zip over here and get the rest of this stuff. You guys can see how planned ahead I am. Uh, off camera too, I also bought a, um, it's a cool, this is, we're going into cards for a minute, but this is a new thing that I saw at Walmart where you can buy a box and it's got a graded card in it for 12 bucks. Well, I bought the box, I pulled out my buddy, my absolute favorite basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan, cool card. I think this is worth about 20 bucks. It's nothing great, but look at that card. It looks phenomenal. So yeah, as you guys know, this is part of the channel now, so I will be showing more cards, but I really like that. I think that is awesome. Goes with that Barry Sanders rookie that I pulled out of a pack. I never had that as a kid. Pulled that out of a pack um, last week. Also bought a whole slew of old school vintage packs, so we'll be doing shorts on those for pack rips, so looking forward to that as well. Got one more pickup. This is probably going to be the review for this week. A line I'm sort of in on, sort of out on, kind of, you know, I kind of take my time with it a little more and determine, do I actually want to do this figure? So it's really a figure by figure basis. But that is, this one actually, I mean, this was a must when I saw this. This of course is Masters. New Eternia, there is Manny Faces, one of my favorites growing up. Really think that's a cool figure. We're going to probably do the review on this guy this week. There's a good look at him. He's very he got a very good um, Zartan vibe. He's got the little case with all the faces, kind of like uh, Zartan does there with his backpack. I don't know if I like that gun. It's a little, you know, nerf super soaker-ish for me. <laughs> but look at the card art on the back. That looks really cool. Really cool. So we're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how his faces actually go in because I know on the vintage he just turned the top of his head there. So I think if I find it a little odd that he's got a case with all these faces, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this is a pickup from Big Bad Toy Store. Costs way too much. The shipping was super slow, but probably one of the only ones I'm going to get all year. I do have the Skeletor coming um, later this month from the movie, the movie Skeletor. So that's it. Compared to last week, this is a slow week. <laughs> but still, I mean, between cards and um, figures, not bad. That'll do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. Um, later this week, either Wednesday or Friday, we'll be reviewing this. We might do another mystery review. Let me know in the comments, did you guys like the mystery review? Did you find that appealing? Or do you want to know what I'm reviewing before you click on the video? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. Uh, Yakin' with UConn next week, we'll have Matt from Mad About Toys, the newly crowned 1,000 subscriber Matt from Mad About Toys. So congrats again, man. So make sure you guys are tuning into that Sunday, 7 p.m. Central, as always. That'll do it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. Talk to you real soon. You guys have a good one. Later.